Hey, Bob the Spider Hunter here. I'm out in a in a village or town called uh, Hamilton, and uh, there is a awesome train trestle bridge right over here in front of me. I want you to take a look at. And that trestle bridge goes over the Rabbit River here in Hamilton. Uh, what I like about it is there's a train that comes through there only one time out of the week, usually on Tuesdays, and uh, comes in to get the farmer's grain from the uh, fields that are stored here at a grain elevator. But uh, needless to say, it's winter time in Michigan, and it's hit us pretty good here. This is a, I'm in a winter warning here advisory uh, for uh, West Michigan area, and. Uh, uh, Hamilton is part of that area. So um, I'm going to be heading out back to the car where it's a little bit warmer. Fortunately, I'm, I'm here in between some of the snow and uh, it's not coming down as hard as it was in just a little while ago. But I hope you enjoy the spider video and uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Sorry about the voice. I got laryngitis going on, so I'll speak as clearly as I can. Uh, I'm here at uh, Hemlock Crossing Nature Center and the staff has alerted me to the fact that uh, right here in a pond outside of their bird viewing area is a fishing spider. So it's right here um, under this uh, rock area that they've made by their little little pool. And of course that'd be great for us for a fishing spider who likes water and actually can fish in the water. Now what I'm going to be attempting to do is to catch the spider not get bit and not allow the spider hopefully because it might be in a tight spot to get into the water this spider can stay underwater for about 30 minutes and i don't got 30 minutes to stand in the rain and do this so let's hope it goes well the first time no bites no jumping in the water and i can get a good capture for her as quick as i can let's try it see what happens I'm gonna see if I can lift the rock here. Oh. And there's the spider. She's moving. I don't want her jumping in the water. She's down there in the corner. You see her? Good sized spider. All right, I'm gonna go in, see if we can get her and not get bit in the process. catch the fishing spider and there's the girl pretty good size uh, fishing spider this would be the dark fishing spider and this would be a female I believe all right so one fishing spider down one to go. I'm inside the uh, nature center and I'm going to be transferring uh, this spider 
this dark fishing spider into a different container and then I'm heading back out to the woods to see if I can track down a second one. So let's make that transfer and then we'll head out back to the woods. This should be relatively easy as long as the old girl doesn't decide to uh, take a trip, quick trip somewhere. <laughs> you never know what they're going to do. They are very fast. go. Nice transfer. Spider's doing good. Okay, only a dedicated spider hunter or an idiot would be out in this raining weather to try to find a spider or maybe both spider enthusiast and an idiot <laughs> anyway uh, walking through the woods and uh, in search of spider number two dark fishing spider one went pretty good. Let's hope the second one is just as simple. You can see the old gal in here. how close we can get with the camera. That might be about it. Nice sized spider. If she look our direction we'll see glowing eyes but she ain't gonna do that. And I'm getting soaked so I'm gonna cut this short. Oh man make a run for it! Run! Heck in the woods! Listen to that rain, man! We're gonna get soaked! And the staff has alerted me to the fact that uh, right here in a pond outside of their bird viewing area, there is a what they believe is a um, uh, a a spider. <laughs> bah! Take two. <laughs> you get that and then I would over. Quiet on the set. <laughs>